In his second season with the Galaxy, Brazilian midfielder Marcelo Sarvas has become one of the most dependable and foundational players on the field. Out of the last 48 games, Marcelo played a full 90 minutes in 37 of them and has clocked over 2,600 minutes so far this season. He has sacrificed much to reach this level of endurance and it shows on the field. Marcelo Sarvis, we identified him as a player that we thought could help us when we played against him when he played in Costa Rica. Marcelo's had an outstanding year for us. This year, he's embraced the opportunity to play on a full-time basis. You pretty much turn on the TV, you're watching the game, he's probably always going to be in screen because he's everywhere. When I play in Brazil, I learn how to play more offensive, so you have more experience, so you can uh, learn fast how to be in good position to help in the defense. Good one, guys. Let's get this game started. When start the game, I like it's the mentality. I would like to push forward, and it's also a, a little bit psychologically. You show the other guys that you are there. In a sense, he's the biggest workhorse on our team. When you look at his numbers, some of the data side is probably running the most throughout the game. Sarvas, Donovan, here's Sarvas. Jesse Sarvas out in front. Here's a chance. Shot. It's actually a pretty like holistic sport if you think about it. When these guys are running, they're applying upwards of a thousand pounds of force per leg every sprint. That fuel that the, the athletes are burning, it's called glycogen. It's really just like the gas for athletes. So during that game, that, that gas tank level is depleting and depleting. They can get in just a little extra carbohydrates, a little extra of a sports drink. That's gonna just prolong that gas tank and they'll burn the sports drink and save that muscle glycogen stored in their leg. It's an extremely high demand that he puts on his body, game in and game out. So no stoppage time flashed and no stoppage time given beyond the extra 20 seconds here. It is a nothing, nothing game. As they head into the halftime, this is a really critical point where these guys need to recover from that really intense first half. One of the things we like to recommend is really adding some minerals and electrolytes. What that does is increases the osmolarity of the drink which actually gets it into your body where you can actually use it. That's gonna help them preserve that 2,000 calories that's stored in their body and give them the staying power to make it all the way through a game while maintaining performance at the very end. Normally, I think in the second half, you take some more minutes than first half to, to get in the game. The majority of goals are scored in that last little 15 minute block of the first half of the second half and that's just naturally when guys are tired. How can we find ways to conserve energy, whether that's with running form and looking at running mechanics, fitness drills that we're doing to try to improve our ability to recover so that we do have more left as we get into the back half of a game. When we score a goal, it's, it's uh, the best moment because you play, you run, you work a lot to score, and the score makes you win games. A lot of times it's more of just the mental check. How do I get myself into a better starting position so that maybe I don't have to make a 40-yard run when I now, you know, I can only make a 20-yard run. It's more the experience and the, the game shows you. That veteran in him, you know, that true professional in him, knowing, knowing his body more than anything and knowing what he has to do to to keep it going for 90 minutes. When you're playing, you are always looking to the scoreboard to see 70, 8, 8, 5. He's one of those guys, and I don't know if there's many out there, who actually enjoys fitness. He trains the right way, and in the case of Marcelo, he likes to put in a lot of extra work, and it's paid dividends. To know that you can count on him to go the distance in 90 minutes. Something that my dad told me, and I keep this with me always. Every day that you're gonna train, you have to push yourself. Even if you are tired, you have to push as much as you can. You're gonna make difference for next train, for next train. So I always push myself. I always try to make this a uh, little bit more than I did before. With just seconds left in the match. Give up a couple, but win four to two. The Galaxy play, it is something special to see. 